Okay, so I was gonna make a video today about the R6 and Canon log and filming in like a desaturated format and everything. And it was gonna be pretty cool. I was super excited to use it. There's one thing, however, that isn't gonna work. Um, I guess the free version of DaVinci Resolve doesn't let you use the eight, like the high efficiency video codec and everything. So, I actually can't use Canon Log in my free version of DaVinci Resolve. Which means I can't make a video about it because I don't have any other software that I can edit a video with. I don't have Final Cut, I don't have Premiere Pro, so we're kind of uh, out for that thing. So instead, how about we learn about peaking? If you've ever used manual focus before, it's really hard to sometimes know if you're going in and out. Is it in focus? Is it not in focus? What am I really looking at here? Also, I'm taking a walk with Hershey, and let me tell you, not good. She just keeps pulling me around and everything, and it's icy, and it's not very good. However, back to peaking and everything. Um, Manual focus can be really hard and kind of daunting sometimes. Um, so, there's a thing that you can use in your camera, kind of more of like the professional cinema line of cameras, like the R6s. Um, and it gives you this red outline whenever something is in focus. And it's called peaking. So, let's head on down to the studio. We'll kind of show you what it looks like and how to access it, how to use it, and uh, just why it's cool. Okay, so we're up here in Studio B, got the R6. We're talking about peaking today. What is peaking? How do you enable it? How do you use it? And I guess, how does it help you? So peaking is this little red outline that appears around objects in your camera and whenever they're in focus. And it helps you to kind of know when things are in focus. Sometimes if you're outside, you know, your eyes can play tricks on you. You think it's the image is a little bit too dark, a little bit too bright, when really it's the opposite, which is why you're supposed to use the histogram to make sure all your colors and brightness and everything is correct. And focus can sometimes do the same thing with your eyes as well. You know, you go, okay, I think that's in focus, but maybe you got a little bit of like a blurry vision, you got a little bit, something's off today, and then it turns out that object really isn't in focus and you kind of messed it up, you know, where it's a little bit off and stuff like that. So peaking is kind of like a machine camera way of making sure that it's in focus. Let's uh, take some objects around the room. We'll show you what they look like in the R6 viewfinder and what peaking is and some other secret, cool, not, not secret, but cool settings to help you get the right um, focus. So now what you can see is that the Ready Player 2 is in focus, right? But let's say that we didn't have it in focus immediately, right? And we were kind of hunting and pecking for you're kind of going for it you can go oh man i can't really tell if it's in focus if it's not in focus precisely and you get a little bit you get close but you get a little bit off and some of that especially going through two cameras but that looks pretty in focus to me right there now if you want to get super precise and make sure that you are exactly in focus go up here to the menu underneath the auto focus menu you're going to go to page number two it says peaking settings go ahead and turn that on when you're out of focus, it's the same exact thing. There's nothing there. When you are focusing, a little red outline appears around it. You can kind of see the difference of the red outline versus no red outline. And that tells you that it's in focus, right? So that way then if I wanted to focus on that radio back there, I can go like that. And now there's a red, now there's a red outline on the radio back there it's in focus. Now there's one other thing that's really cool about the R6. It's got this thing called a focus guide. We're gonna go ahead and turn that on. And now when you are focusing on an object, it gives you these three little lines. So that whenever you focus, if you go far away, they go really far away. And as you get closer, they line up and when they line up on each other and it's in focus, they're green and it's perfect. So then you can come over here. You can see, am I in focus? Awesome, perfect, the radio is in focus. And also the R6, if you go to the menu, the info pages, at the bottom here, you're gonna notice there's like a little bar here and it tells you where you're zooming in, right? So you're zooming farther away or you're zooming closer. Right, so if I put my finger here, it's really close because it's in focus and everything. And then if I zoom away, the number gets bigger, goes away, and focuses on the Ready Player 
Ready Player 2 book. Alrighty. I hope you guys were able to learn something about peaking, and hopefully you guys can use peaking whenever you're doing manual focus and everything like that on your your creative works. If you enjoy the video, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you want to uh, see some other stuff. I've got a quick vlog segment from uh, this morning about me making an egg. This is the first time I've ever cut an onion where like you do like the slits and then like the crosses and then you cut that on the side and it worked. Look at this. Look at this, I diced all these onions. Oh. Beautiful. We're having eggs today. breakfast we've got some orange juice we've got some eggs and uh, some water in case we run out of orange juice but uh yeah we're gonna have two eggs today it's gonna be great i started doing something today i made up this like schedule thing right i've got hold on right i've got the date i've got like hours and everything and so i'm trying to like i get very lost in the day and i never know what to do like i'm always like man 11 o'clock, what am I gonna do today? I don't really know. So I went last night, made a whole itemized list and like an itinerary of what I wanted to do to, of what I wanted to do today. Like, you know, film this video, edit this thing, you know, practice and learn this. And uh, so far it's going great. We walked on the treadmill, we drank some water, took a shower, we're having breakfast. Later today we're gonna film uh, the video that came before this for the, uh, the peaking video. And uh, just gonna do that and so I guess we'll figure out how this goes later oh well, also our jams for the morning are the uh, Jonas Brothers the uh, happiness begins okay egg number one complete egg number two here we go oh I'm also uh, trying to use the in-body image stabilization otherwise known as IBIS hopefully this footage is a little bit smoother than if I was just using it handheld without it it does induce a little bit of a crop just so you know so if, in case you're wondering uh, kind of any of the downsides of the IBIS it does crop it in just a little bit on like the small one now there is an enhanced IBIS and that does crop it in like a lot so one thing to note if you're going to use IBIS on any of your videos. By the way, it's really hard to hold a camera out like this. Peter McKinnon used to use the, the 1DX and that thing's huge. God, crazy guy. Okay. 